Hey there Rocky fans, this is Wesatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Rocky 3 series, Clubber Lang by NECA Toys. Um, you're probably going to see a lot of these reviews coming out pretty soon, uh, so I'm going to spend less time talking about individuals and more showing you the difference between the two. Um, this is the first figure I've actually bought, uh, or uh, first character I've bought both versions of the figure because each one is kind of outstanding in its own right. Uh, in terms of sculpt and everything. So I just wanted to kind of make a quick video show you guys the differences between them. But uh, just for those who are not familiar with the packaging, it's uh, the same as they've been, you know, so far everything is exactly the same. You know, that rocky image in the background, poster in the back, you've got the cross cells, and then uh, there's a little bit of info about the movie. Where it just talks about how Rocky loses and then gets trained by Apollo and then comes back and whips him. So yeah. And then cross cells. Uh, I will make quick reference here to sculptors Kyle Windrix and Jason Fraley. Kyle Windrix is a great, great sculptor. He's done a lot of great work uh, over the years. Um, and you will see that when we get close ups on these guys. So let's get them out of package. And here's Clubber laying out of packaging. And I just want to give you a quick shot with uh, Rocky so you can see the scale comparison. Pull back a little bit. So as you can see, Pretty nice uh, in terms of scale. NECA's been doing pretty good uh, across the board with that so far. I've been really impressed. Um, and then just so you can see him from the front, let's fix his head up a little. Much bigger. Uh, I recently rewatched their uh, their scenes together, uh, their battle scenes, their fight scenes, and uh, <laughs> this guy would not stand a chance in a ring with this guy. Just no way. When you see how quick this guy can punch and how how much power is in each punch, it's just incredible. But here's a shot of uh, the other Clubber Lang, the fighting Clubber Lang, so you can get an idea of how the articulation works. Um, and just so you can see here, well, I've got him turned a little bit, but he's actually posed on his rear toes. Just so you can see... Uh, how good of balance this guy actually has. Uh, I, I normally am not a big fan of the toe thing, uh, just because it usually means people fall over more easily. But um, I actually like it in this line because it makes sense for boxers because they pivot so much and stuff. So, very cool. Um, now, there are a couple of new things uh, that NECA has done with Clever Lang, and both of them are very, very good ideas that. Uh, um, are very welcome. Um, the the biggest one that uh, I've been complaining about since the very first series is uh, how the uh, ball joints and the hips work. It's always been a pain because you can't see up in the shorts to figure out how you get the ball to move because it's like located at an angle like this. NECA has finally fixed that with Clubber Lang. This is awesome. He's actually got uh, like an L-shaped uh, pivot there now. So forward is forward and back is back and then out to the sides. This is like classic Marvel Legends type articulation. This is awesome. I love not having to swing the leg out to the side and twist the thigh to figure out how it's supposed to fit. It's awesome. It's perfect. Love it. Uh, the other big thing is if you can see here yeah, I got a little paint there. That's on both figures too so that's a bit of a bummer but um, they've actually separated the waist uh, from the torso. So this is like a floating piece sort of that's connected by a ball here and a ball here which means his ability to pose is insane. Watch this. and get his arms out of the way. Let's go forward. Look how far that dude can bend forward. That is outstanding. And back is the same. You can go really really far back with this figure. That is ridiculous. How, how far he can he can pose, and that also goes for side to side too. You know, you can uh, kind of pivot on this one and then pivot again here, so you get that awesome range of motion in there. That you can put this guy in some really really great fight poses if you want to. The unfortunate side of the waist is that on both of mine, as I said, um, I have picked up a little extra paint there. So that's a bit of a bummer, but it's definitely not the end of the world. I think because it's actually cast in this. Uh, kind of new translucent plastic, um, it'll scrape off without hurting any of the paint or anything. So, the reason I got both of these figures is because I could not decide between these face sculpts. Look at the detail on this thing. Absolutely insane. All the little uh, wrinkles in, in the nose and in the forehead and everything. The hair. 
absolutely outstanding. They uh, they really went above and beyond for both head sculpts. I mean, that's an amazing head sculpt for you know him and his kind of uh, pissed off fight mode where Rocky just keeps you know hurling insults at him and he just keeps going. I know these are the blue trunks. That means the first fight, but still, you get the idea. Um, and then here, just a standard Mr. T, just like. <laughs> just judging you he's he's amazing he just they captured that look perfectly where he's kind of mildly pissed off even when he's not pissed off he's just like you know pretty serene to the face but you can see from his furrowed brow he's just always mad this would make an amazing uh ba baracus uh start i could see uh maybe sharing some parts with uh i don't know maybe even duke nukem perhaps um at least maybe the hands uh but I could easily see this turn into some uh, Brackus uh, um, customs pretty soon, very easily. So both faces are really, really outstanding. The skin tone matches across both, so very, very nicely done. Again, the hair is fantastic. Uh, love it. Absolutely fantastic. Um, the body on both is identical, uh, even down to the shorts. Sometimes the shorts change a little bit, but they are identical in this figure, so I'll just show you these real quick. Uh, boxing gloves, very, very nice. Everything is uh, sculpted and painted perfectly, all the laces and everything. Great job here. You know, clubber on the uh, shorts, very, very nice. All have kind of this nice stretch pattern to them, so that everything is really, really well sculpted. The tassels here look great. I love the socks. I, I just love the simple things, like the socks all having their own individual, like, ridges there. The laces on the boots, everything is fantastic. And they even went as far as, this is really cool, um, the boots on here, white bottoms, they went as far to paint tan bottoms on these for the soles. Like, what? who would have ever expected to see that detail on this figure? Like, why does that even matter? But NECA went ahead and did it, so that's pretty awesome. Way to go, NECA. Um, Articulation-wise, you already saw the amazing ball joint in this guy. Absolutely outstanding for the midsection. Great ball jointed head. You saw uh, when he was facing off against Rocky, he's got great down, up. Um, great tilt from from uh, both angles, um, so you're gonna get some great, you know, check that out. Awesome, like getting punched in the face poses. Awesome, awesome work. And then the standard for the line, the swivel hinge shoulders. They don't go out, you know, perfectly straight, but um, you know, pretty serviceable. Elbows still could use a little bit of help. Uh, they only go about 90 degrees, which is not the worst in the world. But for boxers, I would like to see kind of a um, a little bit of a bump here. You see how there's that little bit of a bump, maybe a little bit more so that it can curl up just a tad more. Uh, we've got ball and socket wrists, so we've got a great range of motion there. I mean, this is not like just simple range of motion. I mean, they, they go pretty good all the way around. Uh, as I said, uh, the uh, new ball hinged uh, uh, hips go forward about that far, back about that far. It's all dependent on how much you can get these shorts to uh, stretch. Out to the sides. Actually, out to sides is pretty good because he does have these slits on the side. So that's pretty great. Um, swivel thighs. And then swivel hinge hips. Or, I'm sorry, uh, knees here. Almost 90 degrees. Not perfect, but uh, Boxer doesn't really need to have perfect unless you want him, like, hanging on the ropes or something. Or trying to get back up on the ropes. Uh, ball jointed ankles. So pretty good range of motion all the way around there, which is great. The side to side. I love it. And then the uh, pivot toes. And again, they did not paint the... Um, the peg there, the peg is always matched up to the skin tone of the figure, so that must be part of their tray, but um, it, it doesn't really bother me. It's the only peg that's exposed on the figure, which is great. Um, NECA's come a long way in actually covering up their peg holes so that, you know, it's not breaking up the sculpt of the figure, but... Yeah, this figure is absolutely outstanding. Both versions. Highly recommended. Both versions. I actually bought... Uh, no, actually, I bought this one first, and it was such a tough call to make in the store, and I ended up going back like two days later and buying uh, this version because I just couldn't uh, imagine not having both. I mean, the the face sculpts on these are insane. Just absolutely insane. And this is the new translucent plastic, as I mentioned for a second before. Um, I've got a little bit of uh, overdone paint here on the chest where they uh, tried to do a little bit of a wash afterwards, and it didn't really work out as well on this. It's not bad, but... Um, you know, it, it is noticeable. You can see it. Um, but they, they went with this high glossy paint over it. You can see this is actually a gloss because on Rocky, he's very flat. Um, you know, he's sleepy too. But uh, he, he doesn't have that same kind of shine to him. Whereas uh, Clubber was always just kind of covered in oil and sweat. So 
um, they, they, they really uh, replicated that very well on this figure. Um, so uh, very well done, super, super uh, uh, articulated, excellent uh, portraits. Um, the details on the gloves and the boots and the shorts, everything is just perfectly done. Um, yeah, NECA knocked this one out of the park. If they continue to make Rocky figures that have this kind of mobility, these are going to be, these may already be the best uh, boxing figures that have ever been made um, in, you know, 6 to 7 inch scale. I don't know all the scales, I don't know about 12 inch and stuff, but these, just, these are pretty outstanding. So, highly recommended, uh, $14.99 at my local TRU, um, pick them up. Let me know what you think, too. Uh, if, if you want to uh, post a video response or anything like that, I'll be glad to link it. Um, I, I love seeing other people's opinions on these things. So if you have any questions or comments, hit me up below. And uh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. We just got past 200 subscribers, so that's pretty awesome. I really appreciate it, guys. I love to talk about toys. So um, any questions, comments, or anything else, you know, hit me up, and uh, we'll talk about it. Thanks, guys. Bye.